Geyser, a natural spring or fountain which discharges into the air at more or less regular intervals of time. A column of heated water and steam. Yeah. So now I know what a geyser is. And turn the page here. There are pictures of geysers from all over the world. Here's my favorite. That's called Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park. Shoots water 50 feet in the air. And I have one in the kitchen, too. That's impossible. Well, you think so? Come on, I'll show you. But you can't have a geyser. It goes too high. Oh, you mean 50 feet in the air like Old Faithful? <laughs> well, I wouldn't want one that went that high. You know, I'd get the ceiling all wet. And this is a Faithful geyser. But a geyser doesn't have to go 50 feet in the air. It can sort of bubble up. And that's what this one is doing. I remember what it said in the encyclopedia. Heat of the earth below, right? Well, we have a stove heating up the water. Water that's being changed to steam. In this case, there's a funnel in there. See how it, you can see it in the middle of the, of the beaker? That's collecting all the steam. And when there's enough pressure inside, the water that's in the stem is pushed out, bubbles over the top, and that's a geyser. Now, here's oh. the one you might have in your kitchen. How do you make coffee? Um, by drip coffee filter. A filter. Yeah. Well, this is called a percolator, and there's another may way of making it, and is the geyser most people will have in their kitchen if they have one. So they're both the same idea. You go ahead and trace what happens there. Okay, they both have what? hot water, mm -hmm. and the, the steam gets collects together and goes... In this case, there's a plastic funnel down there. Yeah, yeah sort of. the plastic funnel, and it goes up through the plastic funnel, and the water's in there, which goes up the dome, which the water squirts out, which looks like a bubble. Because there's water in the stem, right? Yeah. And it pushes it up. And that's not really a bubble, that's the hot water coming out, and it looks like... Now, they call this a percolator, not because it bubbles like this. The word percolate means to seep through or slowly go through something. This hot water s seeps through the coffee grounds, which are ordinarily in that little basket, and drip down here. So then it gets boiled over again and comes up here and continues to circulate round and round. So anytime you see one of these, uh, they have a geyser in their kitchen. I'll tell my friend that. <laughs> okay. And you, you'll be able to explain this? Yeah. Okay, good.